Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. In front of us, this is a Twitter account of the Ministry of Security in Kuwait. Uh, the title is uh, Cut red-handed someone he insulted the divine and that person was arrested and sent to jail. Here in red, this is this is uh, this is official announcement from the Ministry of Security in Kuwait, the country of Kuwait, which supposedly been given freedom by George Bush. It's mentioned that uh, the General Information Administration of Security and the Minister of Security uh, announcement that the video, which is spread by some social network, which include one person insulting the divine personality and the uh, security department make it clear that right away as soon as they got informed about this issue they uh, investigate and they found the person who did this and it was or like like uh, uh, he was arrested and uh, the Ministry of uh, Security uh, uh, insist to inform everybody that they are going to go and take action against anyone who go and insult the divine or the religion of Islam. This is the social, the, the security ministry, which is sponsored by USA, arresting a woman for saying two words. And they are making a threat that anyone who insult the divine of Islam he will be arrested. Now, I don't know what people will say about this, but this is telling you that USA did not bring any freedom to those countries. Because the freedom doesn't matter if it's under Saddam Hussein or it's under this filthy prince. All of them are the same garbage and the same mentality. And if a person, a woman, she speak against Islam, here we go, she is arrested. And they speak about it as they are proud to do such an action. How in the world those who speak of a human right, they don't notice that. Not only that, maybe you do not know that Saudi Arabia and country like Kuwait, they are uh, uh, an, uh, like uh, an important member. Actually, Saudi Arabia was leading the human right department in the United Nations. They gave them such a job. So can you believe it? And now if we ask Mr. Trump about what do you think about Kuwait? He will say Kuwait is a wonderful country. They are our friends. And... They are really, really good. Uh, the president of Syria is bad. Hmm. Why? In Syria, you can insult the divine and nobody go to jail. Uh, but in Kuwait, the friend of USA, just because he's a friend of USA and he opened his banks and the oil and the business, that's mean whatever they want to do, they can do. Same as in Emirates, same as all those countries. So let us make it clear that none of those Middle Eastern countries really qualify to be a good friends to USA but because USA is running by always run not only now I mean Trump is just an additional name by a bunch of hypocrites who did they, uh, they are willing to ignore human rights when they want and they remember it when they want so the Prince of Kuwait he is in our pocket so we will not mention anything where is mr. Trump to make his uh, tweet about arresting a woman for saying two words under what law that a man or a woman who don't want to believe in God or they don't want to believe in certain God or they won't believe in even insulting Christianity they should be arrested what kind of friends we have so I wanted to share this video with you I'm, I'm recording you actually uh, right now from my phone you can tell I'm recording the screen because I don't have really the equipment uh, uh, to share and uh, to do the live broadcast so I uh, leave your comment and tell us what do you think. And I'm going to share actually the link for that, uh, that the Twitter. So you can uh, send your greeting to the, uh, the Ministry of Security in Kuwait. Tell them, we are so happy that you arrested the most amazing, scary criminal, a woman who insulted Allah. What a filthy government. Shame on you, all of you. And you know, they are heroes about the one who insult Allah. But 
the, their countries are full of corruption and actually Allah is the one the reason for your corruption because all things happen to you you blame it on Allah why not Allah he says everything happened to you it's by me so if this woman she insulted Allah it was Allah who made her made, made, made her do that remember we explained before that in the Muhammadan they believe in uh, you know destiny and the destiny is that anything including your sin is done by Allah so why this woman she is blamed for what she did leave your comment and this is a Christian Prince miss you all I hope to do live broadcast soon again take care and God bless